long parted, says a dial. This is an ecstasy pellet. The guys here tell me these change hands for £120 each, although they sold me this one at a mate's rate of just 70 It's chilling to think how easily these can fall into the wrong hands. Not to mention a teenage tummy. I'll be disposing of this on my next toilet visit. Because so-called recreational drugs have blighted the lives of junky teenagers for years, from Alad Jones to Zamo to my assistant's nephew, Tim Benfield. And so dispose of it I did, but not before checking it was legit by nibbling a corner off like television detectives do. And whilst this did give me a mild high during which I felt a bit hot and couldn't stop talking about Lewis Hamilton, it was nothing I couldn't handle, and I've no regrets about nibbling it whatsoever. Where are we going now? In actual fact, I enjoyed a perfectly pleasant evening, meeting new friends, chatting amiably, and I was still on the dance floor at 8 o'clock the next morning. At 10 o'clock, I had a meeting with the mayor which gave me just enough time for a sink wash and an egg baguette, after which I was back to my old self and ready to get some answers. So, what do you think... Sorry. Do you think there's a growing divide between the haves and the have-nots? Well, life for the poorest sections of society is incredibly tough. Um, the challenge for us as a council is to tackle these problems at a time when our budgets have been cut by central government and were unable to raise council tax. <clears throat> um, and, uh, what can you tell me about your plan to boost inward investment in the area? Well, our main aim for Manchester in the next few years is the economy. Stupid. That's a Bill Clinton quote, by the way. I didn't mean you, Alan. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lovely. <clears throat> uh, we believe that over the next five years we can bring in over 500 million of inward investment to the area. Right, which I think I'm right in saying will make Manchester the leading recipient of inward investment of any major city in the G8. Lady Mayor, thank you for speaking to me. It's my pleasure. Ha! Huh. Mmm. I'm so cold. Uh, a long part, says a dial.